the Guildhall, 800 guests see their host, the new Lord Mayor, toast Britain's new Prime Minister. This is the first time Mr Churchill has spoken at a Lord Mayor's banquet as Prime Minister. Sir Dennis Lawson was the festival Lord Mayor. Responding to the toast, His Majesty's Ministers, Mr Churchill takes as his theme, National Unity, and explains the causes and consequences of disunity. Masses of warm-hearted, hard-working human beings wanting to do their best for their country and their neighbours, and longing to build their homes and bring up their children in peace and freedom and with the hope of better times for the young when they grow up. But then they come along, all these tribes of nationalists, ideologues, revolutionaries, class warfare experts, and imperialists with their nasty regimentation of academic doctrinaires, they are all striving night and day to work them all up against one another so that the homes, instead of being built, are bombed and the breadwinner is killed and the broken housewife is left to pick the surviving children, maimed and scorched out of the ashes. From this, he moves to international disunity as he reviews the world scene. On the one hand, stand all the armies and air forces of Soviet Russia and all their communist satellite agents and devotees in so many countries. On the other are what are called the Western democracies with their far superior resources, at present only partly organized, gathering themselves together around the United States with its possession of the mastery of the atomic bomb. A tithe of the efforts now being made by America would have prevented the Second World War and would probably have led to the downfall of Hitler with scarcely any blood being shed except his own. The national target should be that unity for which the Prime Minister asks. 